Right, so hey guys, what is going on? My name is BB Hacks, and welcome to this video. Today is, I'm actually doing a follow up video to a video I did last year, and that video was called Teenage Issues Why I Hate Being a Teenager. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because the day before this video goes out was actually my 60th birthday, so now I'm current at the time of this video going live, I'm, I'm able to make babies, join the army get married, so I could technically get somebody pregnant, join the army, nine months later go on paternity leave and have a kid and get married. Why would I want to do that? I don't know. Starting out, we have the pressure of exams and revision and things like that. Sorry. The, the day this video goes out is the 5th of March 2018. I am currently in year 11, and that means I'm in my last year of school. That means in May, I'm starting my GCSE. So I've had this on my door for a while, and it used to be on my wardrobe. It is an exam, an, a summer exam timetable for the GCSEs that I'll be sitting this year. I have to sit one, two, Three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. According to this, I have 19 exams, but I'm sure I got told I have 20. The first, right, the thing that annoys me is my first exam is pretty much on the first day of GCSEs, which is computer science, so I want to kill myself. And my last exam is on Wednesday the 20th of June, which is the last exam, which is business studies. Business studies. I like business studies, but why does it have to be on the last day? Like, everyone I know finishes like a week before me, and then I have to do it till there. All the highlighted ones are the ones I'm doing, which is pretty much the entire sheet of paper. I am not a happy boy. So, as I said, pressure builds up and builds up. The only thing I think I hear my teachers say to me at present time is Revise. 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 You need to come to period six. Revise. You're gonna fail. You should have been drowned at birth. No. The only bit of that one that I agree with is the last one. It makes me sad. The funny thing is, you should think I'm joking. So the second thing is, is that people are very, very judgmental. Every single aspect of every single thing that I do gets judged. Every single aspect of every single thing that I, people that I know do, get judged. You walk into school with a new pair of trainers. Eh, you got your trainers from JD Sports, what a scrubber. But at least I didn't get them from Sports Direct. Oh, what do you mean you want to fight me? If you fancy it. No, oh, proper run off. Don't like it when he does his little weird run whenever, every time we have a fight. Then we'll stop going on about bloody shoes then. Is that gen genuinely, I have heard people have arguments over the stupidest thing. And I know from experience that people judge you for everything. Obviously, you could say, well, I post my life on the winter webs. Like, yeah, uh, fair enough. Like, <laughs> comment a couple of years ago, you got more bags than Morrison's, you fat cunt. And I was like, oh, that was nicer, you want it? Just because I've got, like, a six pack of flab doesn't. Eight pack of flab doesn't mean you have to bully me. But if you want to bully me, you can do. Actually, no, that was a joke. Please don't bully me, I don't like it. I spent, I spent the first part of my life being bullied, so. So yeah. So everyone gets their things judged. Like one, if one day I forget to put my teeth in, like I've not done for this video, people will point out, oh, you got false teeth. It's like in the video where I think, oh, it was the reaction video to uh, Rooka Rooka Ali um, Al Kai Direction video, which has like twelve dislikes and like three likes or something like that. Um, the amount of people that have uh, commented on that about my teeth, it's like, why do you care? Yeah, fair enough, I don't have any, but why do you care? You're never going to meet me in person, it's not like you're going to put your hands in my mouth. Because I'm not Mr. Grey, I'm an animal. At number three, we're all very hormonal. Now, if you've not hit puberty yet, you won't know what I mean. If you have, you will know exactly what I mean. Basically, if you're a girl, you're a stroppy bitch. If you're a boy... Oh, what's a good way to describe a boy who's high on hormones? Horny, an asshole, dick, a shitter on a butterer, just a plain and utter dick. And it's like, why? 
we're all going through the same thing. All our bodies are changing. So why do you have to be like that with me? Why can't you be like that with that person? They're going through the same thing as well, so be mean to them. It's like, you know what, you know what really annoys me about being hormonal? The fact that when you're sat there in a lesson and all of a sudden you just have a mood swing, I have quite a lot of mood swings. You sat there in a lesson, you just had a, f this, I can't be bothered, just go sleep. The teachers don't understand, because obviously they, they're like, this isn't, a, this isn't just aimed at school, by the way. But pe adults don't understand that your brain is changing, your, your body is changing, and your brain is going through all these different emotions. And if you don't know how to display them emotions, then you get judged. <laughs> and they say things. And sometimes the things that these adults say aren't very nice. Uh. So I feel like I best just put it out there that this may have come across as that I was mainly having to dig at people at school. It wasn't, it was mainly just because that's where most of the teenagers I know are. Because I don't hang around with drug dealers yet. Unless they are and I just don't know about it. Hashtag TBV is not coming back. I feel that that's I feel like that's been a good little rant. I've been wanting to do a rant like that for ages, and I've just been fi I find it difficult to find to think about what to do for these rants. Like I was gonna do why I hate the cold. That'd have probably been the most boringest video that you could ever probably find on the internet. About why I hate women. That, I think that was probably the last rant I did, and that was very impolitically correct. And that was September. And I've, I don't think I've done a rant since. And, I, and, and another thing I just want to point, put out there is I don't feel like I'm enjoying doing these videos as much as I did at the start of last year. Last year, the start of last year, like when I did the video about school and I used Marvin in the thumbnail, that time, that sort of time, was um, like really, I felt like I really enjoyed it. Whereas now it's just like I do it because I feel like I have to. And I, I know that eventually I'm going to get burnt out. Hopefully I can keep going till about May. And if I burn out at May, or before May, I'll be happy because then I can <laughs> fob it off for a month. Folks, I'm a Jesus's. Do my, do my gusses. Do my gusses. Do well my gusses. Then I can start my own business. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know by leaving a big fat like on it. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. So yes, I'd be Pax. And if you want to see more rants, let me know what you want me to rant about down below. So yes, I'm be Pax, and I am sorry.